Hello friends, last time you heard about who established the church. Today we shall learn more about the kingdom of heaven. So let us begin by signing ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you in thanks for the gift of life you have given us. We thank you for all your blessings and graces and especially for protecting us and keeping us safe. Send down your Holy Spirit to enlighten us in today's talk. We make this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. We all know that after we die, we are called to heaven or hell. Depending on our deeds, the way we lived our life here on earth. To better understand this topic, we shall read the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 22, verses 2 and the following. This story throws light on the kingdom of heaven. A king celebrated the wedding of his son. He sent his servants to call the invited guests to the wedding feast, but the guests refused to come. Now the king is God the Father, his son is Jesus, and the wedding feast represents heaven. The Jews are the guests who are invited because they were the chosen people and the servants are all the prophets and kings that we come across in the Old Testament. Let us read from verse 4. Again, he sent other servants ordering them to say to the invited guests, I have prepared a banquet, slaughtered my fattened calves and other animals, and now everything is ready. Come then to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention and went away, some to their fields and others to their work, while the rest seized the servants of the king, insulted them and killed them. Now these verses speak of three types of people. The first paid no attention. There are many in our world who do not pay attention to God. They are not bothered, they just exist. The second type of people are worldly. They are busy with their work, nothing else matters. And the third are people who do harm to the servants of God. Those speaking against the clergy and even persecuting them. Now verse 7 onwards, the king became angry he sent his troops to destroy the murderers and burn their city. Then he said to his servants, the wedding banquet is prepared, but the invited guests were not worthy. Go then to the crossroads and invite everyone you find to the wedding feast. The servants went out at once into the streets and gathered everyone they found, good and bad alike so that the hall was filled with guests. Now, invite everyone means the Gentiles and all the people. The king came in to see those who were at table and he noticed a man not wearing the festal garment. So he said to him, friend, how did you get in without the wedding garment? But the man remained silent. So the king said to his servants, bind his hands and feet and throw him in the dark where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. Verse 14, know that many are called, but few are chosen. Who were the invited guests? As I said earlier, the Jews, the chosen people. So his invitation was then sent to all good and bad. We are they and yet we do not accept the invitation. Very interesting is about the wedding garment. During Jewish times, for a wedding ceremony, people had to wear a wedding garment to enter. Now, what is this wedding garment? Let us read 
in the book of Revelations, chapter 19, verse 8. This linen stands for the good works of the holy ones. St. Paul to the Colossians writes in chapter 3, verse 5, Therefore put to death what is earthly in your life, that is immorality, impurity, inordinate passions, wicked desires and greed, which is a way of worshipping idols. These are the things that arouse the wrath of God. Now two conditions God has put in Revelations. First, the good works and second, holiness. God is holy. He expects in return that we too are holy and do good works. That is, reach out to people who are in need. The next in Colossians we read that we have to be pure, clean of all earthly passions and desires. That is where verse 14 gets highlighted, where it mentions that many are called, but few are chosen. Every day is a blessing given to us by God, an opportunity to mend our ways and come back to holiness and good life. He has also given us the earthly banquet, that is the Holy Eucharist, to sanctify us, help us to wear the garment. Many of us do not participate in this earthly banquet properly. No proper preparation, no proper dressing, mind elsewhere, etc. God established the church and wants to save all of us for the final banquet. He is giving us several opportunities to reform our lives. Let us pay heed to his word and respond in love. I hope I have been able to make you understand the importance and the meaning of the Kingdom of Heaven. Thank you for listening. Spread the link and we'll see you next Sunday to talk on what is purgatory. God bless you and have a graceful week.